Hi, in this unit we're going to look at the sample editor. The sample editor in Logic is uh, a window that allows you to actually change audio that you've recorded. In the previous unit we looked at recording MIDI information and changing MIDI information. Well, you can do similar stuff with sound. Let's explore it a little bit. I've recorded a piece of guitar on this track and for clarity's sake I've just got one track in my project and you can see here this chunk of guitar called guitar one hash one over in the audio bin if you can't see it click media and bin you can see I've got guitar one hash one dot AIFF and if I hide logic pro and go and look in the project folder for this song logic 101 unit 7 sample editor in the audio files folder I've got guitar one hash one dot AIF Okay, now I'll just play it. And if I double click on this piece of audio, the sample editor opens here. If you can't see it, it's because you've got that line needs to be dragged up so you can see buttons. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole of the file. I can also play it by clicking on the speaker icon here in the sample editor. And you can actually see those bits of handling noise there. Look, they're clicks. If I expand the waveform view in this direction That's the useful part of the sound, that's the chord. If I click and drag and select it, and hit the play. But these are little pieces of handling noise. I want to get rid of them. So if I click and drag that whole chunk where the handling noise is, go to the functions menu and choose silence, bingo, they're gone. If I now play that whole chunk of audio again, they're gone. Now this is what's called destructive editing. I have actually changed the data. I've changed the sound itself. I've written silence into that last chunk of it. There's all sorts of other things you can do in the sample editor. For example, I can go to my functions and I could reverse it. I'm going to go undo. I can change the volume of it. I can click on change gain, look for how loud the maximum peak is. It's minus 8 dB. I can actually scroll this up and change it until it goes to minus, let's say minus 2 dB, it gives a bit of headroom. Bingo, look, it's actually made the waveform louder. Okay, there's all sorts of other stuff you can do with the sample editor. You can do forensic things, for example, I can take out clicks in the middle of the waveform. If I zoom, select a tiny piece of the waveform and zoom right in on it, I could take a pencil tool and actually redraw this waveform. Look, I could take that little kink out. I'm not going to do that because that changes the sound and I don't want to do that at the moment. But I can do other interesting stuff. For example, if I take that chunk of it, let's just hear what it is, and then go audio file save selection as, and I'm going to call it guitar 
chunk. Now, two things have happened. First of all, in the audio bin, a new audio file called guitarchunk.aif has appeared. And if I hide logic and go and look in the project folder, again, a new bit of audio called Guitar Chunk has appeared. It's very small, it's 57 kilobytes, because it's only a tiny little bit of that sound. But I can now do stuff with this. I can drag this into the Arrange window, click Loop, and see what we get. If I create some crossfades, let's see if that's any smoother. Let's make them much shorter. So I've actually created a new piece of sound out of this original guitar that I'd recorded. I selected a chunk of it, saved it as a new audio file and then created a new bit of sound out of that audio file. Okay, that's a basic introduction to the audio, the sample editor in Logic.